Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now doing YouTube videos means that I have to keep on top of a schedule of just bringing out new videos for you guys and just in general bringing you the best content that I can. Now I need to keep track of all the videos that I'm doing, so today we're going to be looking at a great application that helps me remember what videos I'm doing and when I need to do them and it is called Swipes. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so what is Swipes? Well, it's basically a note-taking application that allows you to set reminders for certain things that you need to do throughout the day, or if you need to actually set a reminder for your shopping list, or just in general anything while you're out and about, again, this is a great application to do that. Now, the first screen that you're gonna be granted with is the actual list itself, and off to the right of that, you've got your done list, and off to the left, you've got your later. Now, the way that you get your main list items into either one of those columns is basically just swiping from left to right. Now, as you can see here, I'm doing the swipes review, so I'm actually gonna set that to done by sliding it off to the right-hand side. You can see there that it gets a green tick to let me know that it's now completed. My ready contacts review, which again is coming very shortly, I'm going to actually do later on today. So I'm going to swipe that over to the left hand side. And then as you can see here, you can see late today, this evening, tomorrow, and a whole different arrangement of different times. Now, I'm going to be doing that later today, so I'm going to set it over there. Now, if you go into the done list, you can see that this is now saying that it's done, and it also has a timestamp of when the task was actually completed. If I go over to the later list, you can see that it's set it for one o'clock, and that's actually a parameter that I've set within the actual application itself, as you can set different times for different things, basically. So if you want to do a later for the evening, or maybe later on during the week, you can set what day or what time that you need to actually do it for, which is definitely a great feature. Now, if you want to actually delete something, then again, it's very easy to do so. So you can see here that I've got swipes review down here but I've also got it over there so I don't actually need this one and it's basically just a duplicate just for the video purpose so once I click on that you can see it gives me a bit more information regarding the actual task itself but then I can just click on this bin icon and then it's going to be deleted straight away from the actual list itself so this is a great way to kind of keep track of anything that you need to do throughout the day and something that I really appreciate because it comes in really handy for things like YouTube videos because I do have a schedule in terms of when I do videos and how long it's going to take me so again this is a great application for that. You can also add a new one just down in the bottom here and again you can see that you've got some different icons that you can choose from in terms of home, shopping, reminder or in my case the majority of mine are going to be video but you can add your own if needs be so again you can see different lists within the actual list view which is definitely a great feature to have. To actually add a new task, all you need to do is just type it down the bottom here. So I'm going to later on be doing a what's on my phone video. So again, I'm just going to type that in there and it's going to be a video. So I'll click on that and then you can just click done in the bottom right hand corner. And you can see there that it puts it just at the top. Now, obviously, this isn't necessarily an application for everyone. I mean, if you're great at remembering things, this isn't necessarily something that you're going to need. But one thing that I like is the notification access. So as you can see, if I swipe down, I've actually got two tasks that need doing. I've got the Office Lens review from Microsoft and the Swift Key Clarity review. So again, I can click on complete if they are done. I can snooze them for another three hours. So what that's basically going to do is tell me later on during the day that I've got these tasks due, or you can just click into it to get access to the application itself. Now there are some settings to the app, but they are quite minimal. So you can see you've got here multi-select, where you can select a bunch of different videos to swipe them either left or right. You've then got search, Workspaces is what I was talking about earlier. So you can see home, shopping, reminder, and video, and you can add a new workspace if needs be. And then you've actually got the settings themselves. They can see here that at the top, you've got some cloud options where it's saying that I can log out. Now that's one of the great features about this application is if I was to install swipes on a different device, I can log in with my account and all of my list information, including things that's done and set for later, will show up on the new device. You've also got some integration with Evernote, so you can click to link your account and also download the application. And basically, if you put something in Evernote and then assign the swipes tag, then it's going to put it straight into the swipes application. So it's great that you've got integration there with arguably one of the best note taking applications that can actually do a lot more. Now, if you guys want to see a review on Evernote as it has recently got a material design update, then be sure to leave that in the comment section down below or just give this video a like. You've also got notification and vibration, which you can turn on and off. You've got some themes. Unfortunately, there's only two for light and dark themes. It would be cool if eventually you could maybe change some of the colors and things like that, or maybe the background, but maybe that will come in a later update. You've got the option then to change these snoozes. So again, you can change the time of the day. So see that video that I just swiped over to the left-hand side for the clarity review was to do it later. So again, you can actually change when that's gonna be starting throughout the day. 
You've then got help, community plus, and you've also got some contact information and just information about the developers themselves. But just in general guys, this is a great application and one that I can highly recommend anyone that needs to actually take note. Now obviously Android does have some built-in note-taking applications like Google Keep, but in my opinion I find this just a tiny bit more easier just for the cloud integration, which I know Google Keep has as well, but it's just very simple swiping things from left to right, whereas in Google Keep you actually have kind of a checkbox, which I find just a tad bit inconvenient, so this is definitely my note-taking application of choice. And that's pretty much going to do it guys. I'm going to put links in the description down below so you guys can get access to all of the information you need to download Swipes for yourself. Now it is a great application and one that I can highly recommend and it means I can bring you guys some great content because I'm keeping on top of the schedule in terms of what videos I need to do, when I need to do them and just in general it keeps me really up to date. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have got any great applications you want us to have a look at, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. And don't forget to subscribe to get more great content in the future. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.